No debes quitarte la mascarilla y siempre debe de estar colocada correctamente cubriendo desde el tabique nasal hasta la barbilla. Eso no te impide animar al equipo. No está permitido comer ni beber a excepción de exclusivamente agua. Por supuesto, tampoco se puede fumar en todo el recinto y no habrá una zona habilitada para ello. Permanece en tu localidad durante todo el encuentro, también durante los descansos y tiempos muertos. Únicamente podrás dirigirte a los aseos en caso de necesidad. Atiende a las indicaciones de los voluntarios y personal de seguridad que están para ayudarnos y para evitar que tengamos algún despiste. Y por último, al finalizar el encuentro, deberemos permanecer sentados en nuestra localidad para poder realizar la salida de una manera ordenada. Siguiendo cada uno de estos puntos, conseguiremos ganar también el otro partido. Öncelikle son iki sezonun Şampiyonlar Ligi şampiyonuyla oynuyoruz. Çok kuvvetli bir takımla oynuyoruz biliyoruz. Onların da kadrosunda değişim oldu. Biz de kadromuzu tamamen değiştirdik. Bence iyi bir maç olacak. İyi bir açılış maçı olacağını düşünüyorum. What do you need to do tonight to continue that? I first of all thinking that we are still team in the growing. We have a seven new players, seven players that never played in ACB. Many of them they didn't play the BCL. So what we need to do, we need to keep it growing. If we can put the same effort, the same intensity that we put in our last two games, we have a good chance to win tonight's games. Uh, the, this team is going for a three-peat, so three in a row in the BCL. Is there anything from, you, from your career that you can um, pass on to them from experience? Can you repeat the question, please? Okay. The team is going for a three-peat in the BCL, three in a row. Is there anything from your career that you can pass on from experience? Well, the number one thing, we are going to try to win the game tonight. Okay? So the three-peat... <laughs> Número 0, Jordan Baum. 1, Dedrick Lawson. Número 2, Rodae Von Jefferson. 4, Mendeke Moore. Número 5, Mark Freeman Ruger. 
6, Erdianos Mani. Número 7, Furkan Kaltani. 10, Yas Aku. Número 18, Eyeka Arna. 22, Kakan Saini. Número 23, Jok Riz. Y 25, Osan Gopete. Entrenador, Ramet Kandermin. Y saludamos ya a la mascota de la vereda.
clean up again. If you don't get anything, pass the ball here.
Well. Well. Arreda San Pablo Burgos, the Well, San Pablo Burgos out to a 7-3 lead here over Besiktas at home in front of this roaring crowd and Besiktas getting a much needed Besiktas coming off a heavy defeat at home to Anadolu FS and uh, Burgos going for a third consecutive title in the Basketball Champions League and just turning it up a notch. Of course, coming off a decisive win here in Burgos over the weekend against Andorra. And now a turnover. Gives it back to Besiktas. So folks, this is again year six of the Basketball Champions League. And the winner's uh, check from last season, uh, the million euro check was handed off to Burgos before the game. And what a moment that was. Driving in and Peter Lawson gets his own re rebound off his own miss. Now blew it. Entry pass down low. Altali, the young, impressive Turk, turns it over. Now back over to Alexei Nikolic. The Slovenia national team point guard turns it over. And Josh Reeves fouled as he tries to bring it across midcourt. So, folks, again, it's uh, year number six of this basketball champions league, and it has gotten better year on year out. One thing that we have not seen is a Turkish team win the title. So Banvit make it to the final and lose to Averistar Tenerife in Tenerife in year one. And uh, Pino Karciaki were outstanding last year, making it all the way to the final, uh, but falling to this Herrera San Pablo Burgos team who won the title for the second consecutive year. Well, shooting the three and being fouled was Josh Reeves. So Danny Diaz, one of the newcomers in this Arreda San Pablo Vergas team, coming out and you see it every game. Uh, you got to guard those good shooters out on the perimeter. And Diaz got just a little too close. So Rabaceda, good work from him. Jean Tabak, the coach having replaced Jean Penuroya, uh, brings Rabaseti out, and Mark Garcia comes into the game. Meanwhile, Besiktas, uh, with the first of three free throws, getting a little bit closer. They cannot afford uh, to let this Burgos team get out to a huge lead early on. Full advantage. Gets to the line and makes all three free throws. And quickly up to the other end after the turnover, Reeves decides to bring it back out. Long jump shot is good from Bone. And look at that, but Schichtes had stormed back to take the lead. Nikolic, entry pass down low. They share the basketball and it's finished by Diaz. It's one of the things about Kravic that you have to appreciate is his passing ability uh, for the big, excellent bounce pass to Diaz and Diedrich Lawson. Uh, had his back turned and the easiest of layups for Danny Diaz. Uh, but the greater concern right now for Besiktas 
Is there a player who has been, uh, who has gone down? It was Reeves. Hopefully he's going to be okay. You always worry about that. Seems to be all right. I don't know if he, looks like he might have uh, hit his mouth. Hopefully he's not going to need any new dental work. Certainly can be a physical game at times. So Egehan Arna replaces him, number 18. So Arna brings it up. Again, hands it off to Bone. You've got to keep it. Keep a hand in his face. He's already shown you that. Lawson now backing his way up down low. Passes it back outside to Bone. And off the ring and into the hands of Tyrus McGee. Remember, McGee, a basketball Champions League veteran. Here's Renfro. Remember the two teams that have won the basketball Champions League title. Passes it down low to Garcia and he's fouled. can't underestimate the impact of this crowd for Herrera San Pablo Burgos. It is one of the best crowds in European basketball, without a doubt. And John Tabak knows full well uh, what, what a great opportunity this is to, to lead this team. Uh, this is the big show in town here in Burgos. Quick pass down low. Arhan brings it and has it taken away by McGee. And McGee turns it over. And down low, Bone shows some hops. So a little careless. Four point swing and brings Pachiktas back to within one point. Opening game of the Basketball Champions League season. Uh, it's lively encounter. Out, out on the perimeter. McGee from three and this is that one quite badly. Bone brings it forward. Osmani. Now Arhan down low and Lawson. Nice little turnaround and drills it. I tell you, to recover from the type of beating that this uh, Besiktas team had against Anadolu FS. Uh, that he almost doubled him up in the scoring department. Here is a long three and goes off the top of the backboard. The rebound uh, by Altali. And a good block by Kravich, hustling back on defense. He runs the floor very well for a big man. Kravich. Winning not just two titles here with this Burgos team as he goes up uh, for another two. Kravich also, uh, remember, in year number three was in that Virtus Bologna team uh, that won the title in Antwerp. Uh, stepping back and missing was Trayvon Blewett, the former Xavier star. And quickly to the other end, Renfro earns a trip to the line. So Fricken Altali, young man, getting blocked at the rim, and then Kravich hustling to the other side and putting it up and in. John Tabek being quite demonstrative over there on the bench. And you might remember him, if you're watching stateside anyway, played uh, for Croatia back in that famous, maybe uh, the most famous Olympics ever, back in 1992.
terrific player, very astute coach as well. Got big shoes, uh, big shoes to fill though with Penuroya, what he achieved here. And the miss, and Renfro though loses it, and that is a gift uh, gratefully received uh, by Rondé Hollis Jefferson. Burkos can't get out of the room way at times, turning the basketball over. Renfro to the corner, stepping in, passing it back outside. And the three-pointer is good from Tyrus McGee. Good pass by Suleiman Brimo, the Nigerian center, one of the newcomers. Marna gets it over to Bone. And Jefferson misses Rondé Hollis Jefferson, but the long rebound goes back out to Besiktas. Here he goes again, little shaking, little bacon, and putting it up and in. Remember Besiktas in years gone by, the first four seasons of the Basketball Champions League, it very, you know, had really solid regular season campaigns just had no success in the playoffs trying to turn that around this year after missing out on the competition last year now the final 10 seconds of the opening quarter pass up ahead and the bump and the block and the italian referee manuel mazzoni one of the best in the business calls the foul on tyrus mcgee Got a really good refereeing crew tonight. Also Saverio Lanzarini, Mazzoni's uh, fellow Italian, and Alexandre Demont from France. Meanwhile, Egehan Arna off target. So the pass up ahead, did they get it off in time? They might have, but it doesn't matter because the ball did not go in. Burgos almost uh, getting a quick one right at the end. And Besiktas, uh, despite some difficult moments, hanging tough here. Uh, Herrera San Pablo Burgos, the two-time defending champions, leading 21 to 20 at the end of one. Well, you look at the numbers and Besiktas just one of four from deep. And that is the difference in the game. Uh, the Schick is much more prolific. And as we go back to these first quarter plays, and you can see how Besiktas uh, started to trail early on. Diaz stepping outside, hitting the jump shot. Then Altali, who really is terrific and is uh, Tremendous when you consider he was playing at the FIBA Under-19 Basketball World Cup this summer. And here he is out here playing at this level. Huge future for that young man. He is very active early on and if you look at the leading scores in this game uh, Rabaceda and Danny Diaz each with five points three points for McGee we saw his three-pointer Jordan Bone meanwhile with five points and both uh, Alex Jefferson and Lawson uh, each of them have four points three points for Altali Yo, come here. You're handing the ball off to me, right? Go, go. Well, Ahmed Kandemir, there he is, the head coach of Besiktas. And, you know, when he was offering some comments after the, the loss to Anadolu Efes, you know, he just said, listen, it's going to take a while. Some of these guys, great players in the United States. 
coming over to Europe and needing to understand how the game is played in Europe. And judging from the first quarter, they're, they're learning pretty quickly here. They look pretty good. Rondé Hollis Jefferson. Over to Reeves. Back in the game. Now they're whipping around out of the perimeter. And Reeves drains the three-pointer. Hopefully he's okay after that nasty spill that he took to the court. About midway through the opening court. Tyrus McGee. A long way out. Front back of the rim comes out. And the Chicas look to build on their early lead. And stepping up and missing from a long way out was Jordan Bone. Suleiman Brimo fouled by Hollis Jefferson. Steve Zack also in the game for the Reda San Pablo Burgos, number 77. Well, the big question everybody is, is asking really at the start of this basketball Champions League season is Herrera San Pablo Burgos with a new coach, with several new players, are they on for the three-beat? It really has been a, a dream, a dream start uh, to life in European basketball for this Burgos team. They have been sensational. They've tied the game with those two free throws. Hollis Jefferson goes between the legs and the foul. So Hollis Jefferson looking looking quite lively coming into the game. One of two. And the Zach attack with the rebound. Steve Zach. And time has passed. Uh, a little bit wayward trying to get to Primo. And they're doing a great job hustling down the court and getting the layup. Well, anybody that read too much of that blowout defeat for Mexictus against Anadolu Efes. Uh, I think they probably have a pretty good idea that this team has a lot of potential. Zach loses it, gets it back over to Primo from the left corner. And another offensive re or defensive rebound rather there by Egahan Arna. Bone. Lawson turns it over, taken away by Primo, and then the pass intercepted. Good hustle back on defense by Egehan Arna. Now pulling up and drilling the jump shot, Bone. It looks like this Pashiktas uh, team has a Bone to pick with everybody, don't they? Look at that, seven points now for Bone. So slick and so smooth. Isn't always looking to score, but seems to score when his team needs him to score the most. Now the turnover. Garcia, Renfro, and outside to McGee. Back over to Garcia. Now Zach attack. And a jump hook. And the big man from Pennsylvania. in the timeout. Uh, when you need a basket, go high percentage, get into that low post. 
and get it to a man that knows how to score. But look at this. They like to get out in the open floor. They like to run. And Josh Reeves just lays it up off the glass and in. in the north of Spain playing host to Besiktas tonight. The opening game of the Basketball Champions League season, the game of the week. And look at that, Josh Reeves looking like he wants to come out and spoil the party. He's got eight points and looking extremely dangerous for Ahmet Katendemir's side. Go on the, you go on the road and you beat the two-time defending champions. And that is a season-changing win if you can pull it off. Besiktas knows very well how important this game is to them for this season. Hollis Jefferson. Oh, excellent work there from Zach to knock it off the rim. And traveling the call. made on Brimo. There's John Osmani. And now into the corner, Hollis Jefferson. Quickly to Tyrus McGee. Reeves. Oh, and the throwdown, and Basictus have gone back in front. There's John Osmani showing the complete game tonight for Basictus. Brimo. And good work, Zach, on the boards. Reeves trying to wrestle that ball away from him. Look at this. Goodness gracious. Beautiful bounce pass as well from Reeves, who's pulling many of the strings right now for this Besiktas team. Here's on a spotty 2.13 meter center. Three point shot is good. Vitor Benite. Two time champion. Also played in the final four with Murthia, the second final four. Now the pressure from Burgos trying to force a turnover. And a little scoop shot from Yagi's, uh, from Jos Aksu, the 15 year old getting in the game. Here's Vitor Benite, and the three is good. So folks, write this moment down here. Gus Aksu, all 15 years old of him, wearing number 10, and in the left corner for Besiktas. Wow, throwing it down, big Josh Reeves. Of the game picking up. I mean, this is one of the uh, 
the great things about the Basketball Champions League is you look at the, at the high flying show of Reeves, is it has been a competition where you have seen some outstanding young players. And of course, you've seen a lot of that as well. A lot of great, great play above the rim from many of these players. But imagine, 15 years old and you're playing in the Basketball Champions League. Huge potential. Driving and scoring is Steve Zach. The Zach attack is back. Well, he's really asserting himself. out his orders. A oh, wonderful play, but then it goes off of Altali. I have to say, I need Altali to come out and have some big games. So he's, he's the guy that you have to watch. Couldn't quite get a hold of that. So Zach takes a seat. And Kravich back in the game. It's been one of the, one of the advantages of Burgos is they've been able to have some really uh, good, quick, uh, long, fast-breaking bigs. And certainly Travis ranks number one in that department. But they've had some great big players over the years. Haciel Rivero, of course. Miguel Salvo is more of a, a forward. Jordan Sacco is a big part of their, their success in recent times. Here's a three-pointer, and it's good. Another one for big number zero. Bone with ten points. Wow. Oh, quick pass down low. And the shot was there by for Diaz, but he spurned it. And again, Besiktas with a chance to take the lead. Pulling up is Reeves. Ball goes off the top of the backboard. Altali not able to corral it. Benite runs into a wall of defenders and gets the foul called on Osman. Osmani, excuse me. Take a seat. Five fouls already for Besiktas in this quarter, so free throws will be coming the rest of the way on these fouls. But not shooting fouls. And here's the Brazil international, Vitor Benite. He steps up and calmly makes the first. Look at that. Basketball club, you have a, a raucous section like that. It makes a huge difference uh, for these players. They had to do without that during those tough times of COVID. They are back, and they are back with a vengeance. Benite with eight points. Down low, oh, wonderful play, wonderful finish by Reeves. Reeves and Bone. Alice Jefferson, there was no shortage of options on offense. Reeves now with 12 points. Renfro comes up and it's the three. Seven for Renfro. Ball set to Reeves. A little bit of acrobatics and great follow by Aldali. So 
he's got some great young bigs, Tupper and Schengen, to play for the Chiefs. Now, here's a Benite. Game, uh, obviously a long way to go, but it certainly looks like a game that could go the distance. Nice shake in the bacon. Finish wasn't there. Kravitz hands it off to Benite. Coming down the left sideline, right in front of his bench, cuts back to the middle, pulls up, and drills the jumper. There is no substitute for a good jump shooter, is there? Ten points for Benite. Full meter behind the arc. Great work down low by Lawson. And he's fouled while putting it back up and in. Terrific work by Besiktas. Follow, I tell you, it's uh, a rebound, especially an offensive rebound, makes up uh, for a lot of bad shots, mistakes, whatever. And Roma Tony having words with Bone, trying to explain something. El Tali, meanwhile, goes out. Hollis Jefferson back into the game. And in 10 seconds remaining in this first half, Reeves takes a seat. Deidre Glosson does not make the free throw, so it remains a three-point lead for Burgos here in the final minute of the great first half. Kravitz going to work, puts it up and in. Boy, I got dizzy watching that. He was spinning around. Hollis Jefferson over to Blewett. Oh, back to Nana Yagmar. Hollis Jefferson guarded by Benite. Turns, puts it up, and gets it to drop. And now it's a one-point game. Shik just lost it with the rebound, and they can hold it for one shot. So the Shik just at this score here, they could potentially take the lead at halftime. And then Yabo foul. Burgos with a couple more foul, or one more foul to give before free throws are awarded. right at the top of the key. Ten points. Two or three from deep. And 
Nevertheless, this uh, bird has came potentially in danger of uh, trailing at halftime. Let's see if they can run the play. Yamu inbounds it to Hollis Jefferson. Five seconds on the, on the clock. Ticking down, and they get to Hollis Jefferson. Turns it over. Boy, that was a dangerous pass by DF. And the long range is hit from Benite. Hits off the rim and goes out of bounds. I would not have counted. What a game, folks. The opening game of season, season number six of the Basketball Champions League. Areda San Pablo Burgos lead at 44-43 over Besiktas. So digest those numbers. Some very good shooting at the line from Burgos. Rebounding pretty even. 12-9 in favor of Burgos in the assist department, but three more steals for Besiktas. Reeves, Bone, and Hollis Jefferson leading the way for Besiktas, Benite, Renfro, and Diaz for this Burgos team. Well, it has been a, uh, a worthwhile exercise watching uh, in terms of uh, collecting the highlight reel plays. There have been many. How do you choose them? Well, we'll start with the young Alcali. Showing that great low post move. And then you can see the nice jump shot from Bravaceda and Pone passing down low. Lawson scoring. Wonderful bounce pass there by Kravic. And Tyrus McGee tried to get a little fancy there, turned it over, and Bone threw it down. Kravic wanted to dunk this, and in the end, I think he was just glad that he got the two points. That was McGee's three-pointer. Tyrus McGee, and then Reeves has that Joshua worth the price of admission Reeves as a nickname. He has been terrific. He's been electric. He's been scintillating. And great pass as well by Hollis Jefferson up to Bone. And Bone is sending it home pretty much every trip down the floor. He has been tough. Renfro, meanwhile, steady as you go, always there to make the plays. And again, Erjan Os Osmani was great play going to the basket and getting that pass back. It has been end-to-end uh, -end stuff, folks. Nice feed to Reeves. Renfro again on hand to take a big three. So as you look back at this first half, the scooping, the hooping, the shooting. San Pablo Burgos is led by as many as seven points. Shiktis have gone in front by as many as five. And here's Reeves again. He took the knock. He had to leave the game. And fortunately for Besiktas, he was able to get back up off the bench and to re-enter the contest. And he's a player that can beat you outside. He can go strong to the hoop. He can certainly catch those passes up ahead on the fast break. And that end-to-end -end game, you'd like to see it as many times as you can. And for Reda San Pablo Burgos. Yes, who? Always, always making good shots. 
for this uh, Burgos team. It's in his blood. And again, his numbers as we go over it. He's got the 10 points. He's hit two or three from deep. He's one of two inside the yard. And he's uh, made two free throws. He's also got three assists. Renfro is actually uh, having the better overall game with seven points, five assists, and three rebounds. He's plus 13. And uh, certainly a uh, good money for a double double. Scintillating. Speedy. Wow! Look at that. Saucy. Look at him! Special. Spirited. Ice running in his veins. Look at this. Sophisticated. Sublime. Soaring. Stunning. Season six. Strongest so far. Tiene esa frescura que te da pues, el, el haber sufrido tanto para estar en la élite, es una afición súper agradecida con tu jugador y con el adversario. Es una mentalidad de disfrute y de apoyar al equipo y guardando el respeto a, a todos los demás. Desplazar mil, mil personas de manera habitual a desplazamientos menores de 300, 400 kilómetros a la ronda de Burgos, eso generaba taquillas a esos clubes y encima perdías. Era guay. Lo que pasa es que esas cosas han ido cambiando porque ahora algunos eh, es un peligro jugar contra él porque, porque puede ganar en cualquier cancha. ¿no? Ya era muy típico ya no ir a ver el fútbol en los bares, sino ir a ver al San Pablo. En el rato, en el tiempo que no solo se va a hacer en el país, sino en el juego afuera, pues se pues, reúne y se puede ver. La, la, ciudad. la pena más grande que tengo es que lo que hemos conseguido en la última temporada, sobre todo, que no lo hemos podido disfrutar juntos allí en el, en el Coliseo, porque es una ciudad muy agradable para vivir, en la que yo me he sentido súper a gusto, pero encima es que es una ciudad en estos momentos de baloncesto eh, súper positiva y que está con su equipo ganando y perdiendo era un ejemplo well, folks, de, if you're watching de uh, here at halftime it's 44 43 San Pablo Burgos on top of Besiktas and it has been quite frankly electric stuff uh, San Pablo Burgos uh, edging that first quarter 21 to 20 uh, both teams scored 23 points in the second quarter it's been a game uh, with some good perimeter play uh, also some, some really fast breaks uh, there has been the odd turnover Burgos uh, turned it over nine times and turning it over five times has been Besiktas and you know those turnovers can come home to roost and that has certainly helped uh, Besiktas they capitalized scoring 14 points off of uh, the nine uh, Burgos turnovers so uh, perhaps where Burgos might have an advantage would be uh, bringing bodies off the bench they've got 20 points off the bench from a scoring standpoint just 10 for the Shiktas. But there's been eight lead changes. And 
again, you can see the, the leaders, uh, Renfro with those five assists to go with his seven points. And I liked what Zach did as he came off the bench as well. We have Robert Seda. Coach, very uh, competitive first half. Your thoughts on the first two quarters? I think so that we are not doing what we're supposed to do. I think so that our defense is not where it's supposed to be. And I think so that we're giving up easy points. Okay, in the, in the second quarter, you found some rhythm from, from deep, from behind the arc with a lot of scoring from assists. How do you maintain that momentum? We need to start to play better defense. We are not a team that can play and change the buckets. And that's what we are Map, uh, just as Lenovo Tenerife did when they won it in year one. And the Shicks is hoping that they can uh, put it all together and have a great run this year. Of course, what you've got to do, folks, in the, uh, you know, now that we've been through the qualifying, you've got, you've got the, uh, the team's field, you got to finish in, uh, you got to win your group if you want to go straight. We cannot wait. We cannot exchange the bucket. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We need to pick it up. Defensively, we need to pick it up. Let's go. Okay, we need to cover on the lead count. Okay. Fellas, let's go, man. Bring the intensity. We got to turn it up. Intensity is beginning with the pressure on the ball. With the staying on the line on the pass. When they are running, listen, the ball fucking season, they didn't went all the time. It was part of the time all the way like they did today. Come on! Get them high. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Okay, as I was saying, uh, 
you know, we're opening day of the regular season, and uh, these teams, obviously, the prize for winning the regular season, if you're one of the eight winners of the regular season, uh, you will go straight to uh, the round of 16. And the teams that finish second and third will have to go into a uh, qualification for that stage of the competition. Second half action is underway here uh, between Burgos and Besiktas. Burgos leading it 44 to 43. And pass down low and Kravic unsuccessful to see if they can pick up the defense here and get it going. Long three-point shot is good, and Pashiktis. <laughs> Trayvon blew it. Puts them in front by two points. They've led by as many as five. Rabaceda picks up the dribble. Gets it over to Benite. Oh, nice little hesitation, gets it inside. Good work by Reeves, though, to knock it away. And another one, easy one this time for Altali. Reeves pulling the strings. And leading to a timeout by coach Jean Tabak. Jean Tabak not liking this. and hit the three-pointer, and then Reeves just makes the slickest of passes to Altali. Uh, this Besiktas team will know that they haven't done anything yet. They've got to perform at this level for the rest of this half against this Burgos team. But at some point, they're going to start clicking on defense. Four points, the difference. Benite from deep. Travis, good hustle, gets it to Benite. Now, uh, Alexei Nikolic. Shot clock winding down. Alexei Nikolic launches it and off the front of the iron. And the game being played at the pace. Well, you, you think Vashikas would like to get out and run. Uh, but they're more than happy now to just to bring it across the court. Let's see if Vashikas again. It's starting to cause a little more problems on this end of the floor. Long jump shot. And Benite flies in for the rebound. It's a beautiful pass. Deidre Lawson standing around watching that time, and Kravich just caught a bullet pass and went up for a layup. There's four points for Kravich. He also scored on that fast break. 
Now Reeves. Altani. And they save it in bounds. Altani slow to get up. Now he's hustling back on D. Gets it over to Bone. And Bone is fouled by Nikolic. There's a nice feed that time. Radic. Perkett Altali goes out to the 18-year-olds. Had a good, a good game tonight. Seven points, six rebounds, a couple of assists. Javi Ramaceda exchanging words with Reeves. He just got tangled up there as he came down, going up for the rebound. And traveling call on Reeves, who looked almost offended after the little uh, tete a -te with uh, Rabaceda. And was going to try to throw it down, but he walked. So the intensity as you might expect, picking up a little bit, even more so. Burgos, no, a lot of pressure with all these fans coming in tonight. They can't, they can't let them walk away without a win tonight. Vitor Benito, that's a long two. Ties it up. Boy, Bone is quick as lightning. He's got the basketball. Dangerous pass, Rabaceda didn't really go for it there. Reeves from deep. And now Benite quickly, great hustle back by Reeves, but not able to control it. But really, you know, if you're Coach uh, Kandemir, you want Reeves to make the same type of impact he made on the game in the first half, but you don't want him to start going one-on-one, -on -one, and that looks like it might be happening a little bit here at the start of the quarter. Benite pulls up on the baseline! Boy, Vitor, money in the bank, Benite. He just keeps doing it, folks. 14 points, so look at that. Gliding in, missing the shot, but Dietrich Lawson there to clean up the mess. again. Goes behind his back. Shot clock winding down. They've got to launch it. And perhaps one pass too many. 1.5 seconds remain. The six is want to hunker down on defense here. Don't give away something cheap. That's a good follow-up there by Lawson. Lawson and Benite, in fact, on the new Trash Talking uh, podcast on the Basketball Champions League website, if you want to see it. And Benite did get it just in the nick of time. Nope, he did not release the shot in time. So go to championsleague.basketball.com for the latest news and information. Or follow this competition on all of its uh, social media channels. One of the great things about the Basketball Champions League since its inception is uh, how well the, the tweets and everything else has been flying out.
Bone. Oh, goodness me. Which county is he in? He misses, but there is Haas Jefferson. Three-point shot. This is badly. Sayali, but the offensive rebound, again, is not there by Egehen Arna. Well, suddenly, the point's starting to dry up a little bit for Besiktas. Bounce pass. And excellent work by Rabaceda. Heard the whistle, made sure he got the shot off. And the uh, World Cup winner from Spain earns a trip to the line. Travich goes back out of the game. Renfro back in. Yammer back in as well, number four. So here is Rabaceda. Bends the knees and this is the first, but Primo back in the game and gets the rebound. And this time Zach is blocked, but stays with it, gets it back to Nikolic for three. And boy, that is the consequence of not rebounding the basketball. If you're Besiktas, simply cannot give this Burgos team second and third chances. Bone. Goes between the legs, puts it up. Oh boy, that was good. And now the reach on Hollis Jefferson. You know, with these 14 groups, as you look at the substitution, and Tyrus McGee comes in for Nikolic. With these 14 groups, you just simply do not want to lose a game at home. If you have uh, aspirations of finishing top, but then again, if you're a team like Besiktas, if you could get that priceless away win, that would set you up really nicely, especially one against this Burgos team. With the drive and the basket is good from Tyrus McGee right off the bench. Yamor, the bone, Hollis Jefferson. Pass pass back outside to Yamor. Ah, good work. Good work keeping it alive was Erjan Osmani. That was McGee right after he came off the bench. Goes between the legs. Now gets in, nice his way in, puts it up quickly before Brimo, Suleiman Brimo, is able to get there. Renfro to Zach. And going for the steal was Bone. Well, Bone's everywhere, isn't he? Hustling. Shot McGee. Rabaceda rebounds the miss and back outside to Renfro. And alley -oop pass just a little off. Boy. Yammer. Outside, Bone takes what the defense gives him, and then he's blocked. And they call the body on Zach. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, looks like uh, I think if if Zach goes straight up and just has his arm straight up, may I call that? But it looked like he lowered his arms. Bird giving these fans uh, here in Burgos a lot to think about as he makes the first. He's got 15 points. And if you're Besiktas before the game and somebody says, would you settle for being down a point and at the free throw line with another free throw with 147 to go in the third quarter, you would say absolutely. They are in a very good and dangerous position. Tyrus McGee steps back and is short. Bones is 23 years of age, but playing like a savvy veteran right now. Gabor. Back to Bone. Whips it over, and a three-point shot is not there. Tabak knows his team has got a real fight on their hands. They've got 11 minutes to take care of business. There's John Osmani. Call for the hold on Zach. of a reach outside now seven on the shot clock McGee floats in holy cow one of the plays of the game from Tyrus McGee got some hang time there Skyboard over to Hollis Jefferson gets bumped by Zach Zach needs to be careful. He doesn't show up the referee. He does not want to give away a technical foul. Boy, how about that shot? Look at this, McGee. He's got such great control. Look, as he goes to the left hand. So timeout has been called after the Zach foul. Let's go down to the bench. You know, at some point, Benite is going to come back into the game and put up some big shots for this team. But while he's been out, Tyrus McGee has uh, kind of carried the load a little bit. But now Benite is back. And what do you think? Is he going to go for 20 tonight? Very good possibility. I'm guessing he's going to have a hand in the face. Gonzalez Jefferson. What about Brimo? 
Kleiman moving the feet on D. Blew it. Gets up. Oh boy. Look at that. Blew it. He did not blow it, did he? And uh, Tyrus McGee is able to get it up near the basket, but doesn't even hit the rim. And the blew it basket has tied it up. Here it is again. Right at the end of the shot clock. 58, 58. Lorena San Pablo Burgos nodded with Pachictus at the end of three. So Pachictus is 4 16 from deep, 7 19 for Burgos. Uh, doing a good job inside the open, 19 to 34. Well, it was certainly a worrying start to the third quarter for Burgos. The jump shot and then this bounce pass here from Reeves to Altali. A great start uh, to the second half for the team in white. And Burgos uh, started to get back into it. So you got Benitez scoring two of his. 14 points, and then another basket from him on the baseline. And there's uh, no box out there for Besiktas. And Diaz went for, the, went for the ball rather than boxing out. Another jump shot for Burgos, another jump shot for Besiktas. These teams trading baskets, and remember that's what John Tabak said, we cannot afford to come out and just trade baskets. That's not our game. We have got to take over uh, with our defense. Possibly the play of the third quarter, this one. Look at this. Tyrus McGee. Uh, blew it right at the end of the quarter. Getting that shot, so... Lewis with just five points, and he's a player that could go off at any moment. Hollis Jefferson with seven, and 16 for Bone, 12 for Reeves. Well, fourth quarter action is underway here in Burgos in the north of Spain, and the two-time defending champions come right out and have the ball thrown right into their hands by Bone. McGee whips it over to Benite. Renfro back in the game, gets it to Benite. Oh, tough shot for Benite. Great work by Hollis Jefferson. Rebounds it and gets it up the floor to blew it. Travon blew it and great recognition there from Hollis Jefferson and Besiktas. Now have gone back in front. And McGee floats in. Million dollar move, but a five cent finish and turns it over. Not able to sink it. And it looked like it was going to be another dazzling two points for McGee, but he was unsuccessful. So Bone had the early turnover. Didn't matter because Besiktas has come out and taken the lead and they've got possession again. Hollis Jefferson puts it up. This will cross over. Now, Renfro. See if Burgos can get a good shot. At least get an open shot. One that's not contested. That's the name of the game for Besiktas. They've got to continue to play defense. Jack and thinking Benite was going to be open over on the wing, throws it out of bounds. Well, this game has upset written all over, folks. You can just feel it. Besiktas coming to the north of Spain to get on track uh, to spring the big result on the opening night of the Basketball Champions League, and they hit a jump shot, a little turnaround. And 
what is there not to like about that man? Boom. 18 points. Red Fro. Over to McGee. And telegraph pass goes the other way. Hollis Jefferson. So he will settle for a couple of free throws. Renfro did not want to give away an unsportsmanlike. And some tough moments here for McGee. Excellent work from Hollis Jefferson and also Bone. Hollis Jefferson has uh, shown his real face here tonight, folks. Here in the second half, his ability to get rebounds and quickly to get it into transition. And makes the first. And the second, and they have got their biggest lead of the game, 64-58. So Zach is going out. Kravich is coming in. And perhaps a nervous seven minutes and 40 seconds to close out this game here for Burgos fans. Driving in, Rabaseda earns the trip to the line. And nothing better if you're a team right now, and you know, it's a clear foul, nothing better than to get to the free throw line, try to calm things down, see the ball go through the hoop. They're going to have a look and see if that's an unsportsmanlike. I, I didn't see it in live action, but on the replay, it looked like he definitely came down hard on the arm. We'll listen in. Wow. That one angle you could really see, as he said, he came down and he got the ball, but then he kept his arm there, he kept his hand and he raked it across Rabaseda's arm. So two free throws and possession coming here for the home team. Just what the doctor ordered if you're down by six points. And you can see that Mattoni and Blewett are having a conversation and Mattoni's explaining why the unsportsmanlike is there. And that's, the referee is more than willing to have that conversation.
getting a little bit nervous here. Burgos as Rabaceda misses the first free throw. So makes the second. So it gets it back to a five point deficit. Well, you know what they say, you got to call them like you see them. And that's what the referee crew did there. They took their time, they used the uh, replay and got it right. Benite, whip it over to Brian Go! Three! So it turns out to be a four point trip down the floor, and it's a two point game. Let's see if Pachikas can. Tease once again the initiative. Bounce pass, beautiful to Hollis Jefferson. A little bit out of control though as he went in for the for the shot. Now Rabaceda and the crowd is also back into it. Incredible how the game can turn on one shot like Primo's three. Rabaceda drives in. Good rim protection. They get it back. Benite puts it up, oh, and off the glass and in. What a finish from Vitor Benite. 16 points. Keep an eye on Josh Ruiz, he's been quiet. And now the pass, and the pass for Lawson. Knocked away, but the foul is called on Rabaceda. John Tabak has to, uh, again, you don't want to walk a fine line for a technical. Third foul called on Rabaceda. Hollis Jefferson catches, turns, his path sealed. He passes over to Reeves. Brymo not able to get it. They kept the pressure on, and the ball goes back to the home team, Altali. Watching nervously over on the bench of uh, Besiktas. And Hollis Jefferson had a great performance, but just lost, lost it a little bit there at the end. He comes out. And Rinsler has to take it away. And it's gonna be an open floor jam for Reeves. What a turnover. And a technical foul now has been called on Rabaceda. You have got to keep your composure in these situations. Take advantage as Bone makes the free throw. Now Burgos will get the ball, but it goes back up to a three-point lead. And again, all after the turnover with Reeves stealing the basketball away from Renfro. Dimite for three, ties it. He's got 19 points. Cometh the hour, cometh the man, Vitor Benite. Who will it be now for Bajikdis? Osmani. Well, he had courage to take it, but he missed it and nobody was there for the rebound. Renfro. Over to Primo, run off the three-point line. Oh, he gets rejected by Reeves. Wow. Look at this SWAT. Get it out of here. And this was the pass up ahead to Reeves for the flush. And you can see how these 
Burgos fans are living and dying on every possession. Reeves has 14 points. Benite with a turnaround. Goodness me, 21 points. Playing like an MVP tonight. Remember he came in having scored 14 here in the fourth, or right at the end of the third. So he scored seven in this fourth quarter. Three point shot Reeves. Long with the long rebound out. And now back. And traveling is the call on Erjan Osmani. Jefferson getting another block. So Rondé Hollis, Hollis Jefferson only needed to sit down for a little while. His coach decided he had to have him back out there. And you can understand why, seeing how he's performed since he's gone back in. Blocked Kravich's shot. Alexei Nikolic picks up his third foul. Bone inbounds the basketball to Hollis Jefferson. Now Bone, he's got a bone to pick with you. Bounce pass, it goes to Hollis Jefferson. And he earns another trip to the line. I'll tell you what's so difficult about this Besiktas team is they have got three excellent options just to beat you off the dribble. Reeves, Hollis Jefferson, Bone. And if you stop it, they can pull up, hit the jump shot. They're really putting Burgos under pressure at this end of the floor. And Kravitz, you know, he must be thinking right now, this is the guy that blocked my shot at the other end. I need to be stronger next time. And Hollis Jefferson makes both free throws. understand what they were trying to do is they uh, put this team together. It has definitely got the makings of uh, something uh, potentially special. Here's the drive and the miss and Hollis Jefferson gets the rebound. Just when Burgos had the wind in their sails, now it's Besiktas. Burgos. Hollis Jefferson, oh, tough shot. Quickly, Nicholas runs, great reach in, knocking it away with Reeves, and it's gonna lead to a dunk from Hollis Jefferson. Another turnover leads to two more points. For Besiktas, how many times, how many times have they forced turnovers and scored? Well, I'm gonna tell you, folks, this Besiktas team, you know, you're talking about Burgos wanting to get points off their defense. Well, that's been a fact of the night for Besiktas. 24 points off the 16 turnovers by Burgos. We need to stay in defense. End of the position, switch if you need. End of the position, switch. Okay? As you look at the razzle dazzle of bone, you know, I think the point that Coach Ahmed Kandemir is going to like the most when he looks at the stat sheet after the game if, in fact, his team gets the win. 
He's not going to look at the 13 points of Hollis Jefferson, the 8 points and 8 rebounds of Lawson, and the 14 points and 3 assists of Reeves. He's going to look at that one important defensive category, steals. Each of those players has three steals tonight for Besiktas. And on top of that, Hollis Jefferson has a couple of blocks. I mean, sensational, sensational effort defensively by Besiktas. Benite from a long way out. Good! He is an absolute superstar. Number eight is great, Vitor Benite. 24 points, puts Burgos back in front. Bone tries to end her. And the ball goes back to Burgos. You simply run out of superlatives for Vitor Benite the way he has played tonight. He has that supreme confidence in his jump shot. He's not right on the three-point line either. He's a full step behind it. Renfro back to Benite. Why not? He's been hitting everything. Another one. Good. Go. Go. He keeps pouring him in. 27 points. Vitor Benite. Caramba. Besiktas don't know what's hit him. Hollis Jefferson. They look a little woozy. Driving in. Tough shot and earns a trip to the line. One of the great individual performances of Benitez's career. And trust me, folks, he has had some huge games. But he is absolutely refusing, it looks like right now, to allow Burgos to lose. Jefferson able to get the contact and to go to the line where he's been good tonight and makes another free throw. He has been tough. Now six of seven at the strike. Six rebounds as well to go with his 14 points and makes the second win as well. Free throw shooting has been good for both teams as it should be. So 15 points now for Hollis Jefferson, seven of eight at the free throw line. And a lot of big plays on defense. Here's Renfro. Left open, go! Well, it must be contagious. Benitez, three point shooting has spread to Renfro. You cannot be afraid to take that shot, especially when you're open. He got his man, broke his ankles. Look at this. Reeves went down, tried to get back up. It was like he was on roller skates trying to stand back up, but he couldn't get the Renfro who just drilled it. Doesn't want to give away the three, but they didn't want to give it away either. It just fell down. Well, for Burgos, that's the difference. It's the three-point shot. Twelve threes have fallen tonight. Benite, five of eight. Renfro now two of two. Also had threes made by Dia, McGee, Primo, and Xavi Rabaceda. It's been a great game. It's been a thrilling game, and now a thrilling finish. Can Besiktas once again come back 
And coming out and re-entering the game off the bench is Blewett. But it looks like, yep, indeed, an offensive foul setting a screen on Hollis Jefferson. Oh, boy. And he was moving just a little bit. So back to a five-point lead for Burgos and Pashiktas. They've had some steals tonight, and they need to come out and get one now. Burn to miss the foul. Well, Renfro inbounds it. They might commit another early one here so they can get into the one on one. Yep. Or into the, the, the free throw shooting. And Reeves commits the foul. And both of those uh, fans want to get a sportsman like, but they're not going to get it. Pashiktas have played so well tonight, but what they did not have an answer for was the incredible night of Vitor Benite shooting the basketball, especially in the fourth quarter, when he scored 13 of his 27 points. Here he is again. And the pass, saving it before it goes out of bounds, and he misses at the line, but Kravitz rebounds the miss, and back for new 14. Shot clock winding down, Benite will get it, and the His second of the night. And the Burgos fans are going to go out and have some tapas to celebrate after this one, folks. It's a fiesta. They are breathing a sigh of relief. It's not over with 29.8 seconds left, but it sure looks a lot better now than it did a few minutes ago. Remember, that was after the offensive rebound by Kravic. So here's Bone. And the good news for Besiktas is the clock is stopped. So if he makes this, he gets it back to a six-point game. Oh, he intentionally misses it! Look at that! I don't know that he had his coach's permission to do that, but Mattoni says he got over the line too quick after the miss. Ooh, I don't know. Well, he did not hesitate the referee, so I'm not going to dispute it. And Kandemir has the look of, wow, if he pulls that off, that's not a bad play, but maybe he should just take the free throw. Or are they saying that somebody from Burgos was in the lane too soon? That is correct. It was Bone who went over the line too early. I'd love to see it again. It's slow motion. Hello. So we want to see, please, just before the, the last free throws, please. I want to see just one frame, please. Because we have to set the clock. We are checking the IRS to set the clock. Okay, stop, stop like this. It's okay, it's perfect. 29.8 is the game clock. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, 29.8. So they wanted to make sure they had the right time on the clock. And now Renfro is going to try to inbound the basketball. He does. He gets it to Benite. He gets it back to Renfro. Now they chase. And he has fouled by Reeves. So he will go to the line for a pair of free throws. John Tabak 
ask in front of Sports for Life, but it's like uh, that was a okay foul. You can always review it if they want to be sure. Well, Benite, I'll tell you what, folks, every season Vitor Benite just has not just one or two big games, but a few big games, but this one just takes the cake for me. Because the degree of difficulty of his shots tonight was just something else. Oh! And the strategy pays off a little, at least for the first one, as he misses that one. Can DF make the second? Yes, he does. You gotta be thinking three-pointer here, surely. Bone. Oh, he's gonna get inside. And picks it up and misses. Well, what an opening night. And Pashiktas want to play defense here. They don't want to give away another one. You never know. And they avoid getting that up. Incredible. All I can say is Pashiktas certainly played well enough to win for a long stretch in this game, especially in the fourth quarter. But that man right there, that man put, went into a telephone booth and he came out wearing a cape and goggles. That was Superman tonight. Torben Ite, utterly sensational. Herrera San Pablo Burgos win it, 82 to 74 over Besiktas in the game of the week, opening night of the Basketball Champions League. Well, the sign of a good team is a team that can put its disappointment behind it and come out and win its next game. And that is going to have to be the approach of this Pachikas team because, folks, they, they put on an exciting show tonight. They were tough. They trailed. They threatened to spring the upset. And really, they did. It seemed like everything right. The only thing they didn't do was block that man right there when he was taking some, some three-pointers from a, with a high degree of difficulty. Vitor Benitez's finest hour has saved Herrera San Pablo Burgos tonight. 27 points. Now they're going to have a little bit of a stretching exercise. They're going to talk to their fans, as is the tradition. Here we go. If you're a Burgos fan watching this at home, you might want to do this yourself. And look at that. Arguably, the best home crowd in all of Europe here, folks. This is Burgos. You're going to have to beat the crowd as well as the players if you're going to win here. Burgos, 13 threes, decisive. You can see four more rebounds. They did turn it over, and those turnovers were costly, and it almost cost them tonight. And it would have cost them tonight had it not been for the excellence. The uh, utterly uh, brilliant play of Vitor Benite. This is why players love to Jordan, come listen to Jordan. That was Bowen. such a close game right until the end. What do you think made the difference there in the fourth quarter? Um, I think we did a great job, you know, executing, getting the shots that we wanted down the stretch. These guys hit some tough shots down the stretch. We defended the way that we wanted to. They just hit a couple tough threes down the stretch and put us in a tough position to come back and win the game. For yourself personally, you had 20 points. Is there anything you can take from this game moving forward? Absolutely. I got to be better. Um, I, I'm accountable for, for this loss. I take this loss. Um, I got to execute better. I got to get these guys together, but it's early. It's early. We're going to continue to learn. We're going to continue to be better as a team all season. And next time we play uh, our next game or this team, we'll have a different outcome. Do you feel the fans made a big difference in the fourth quarter? No, um, they have a great fan base, but I mean, when I'm on the court, when my team is on the court, it's just us. We're locked in, um, but, but they did a great job. They came out and supported their team. Thank you.
Well, 27 points for Benite, Renfro, 10, Death, 9, 20 for Bone, 15 for Hollis Jefferson. Ronde, very close game right until the fourth quarter. What do you feel made a difference at the end there? I made a bunch of tough shots. Okay. Uh, and for yourself personally, is there anything you can take from this game moving, on, moving forward? I got to be better. Thank you. Oh, great questions, courtside, I have to say. Uh, and really, the answer is that I expected. They hit tough shots, and anybody that watched this Vitor, game knows. Close game. How important it. was it to get that first win? Well, I mean, in the end, start at home, there's always some pressure. We know that every team is going to come here with an extra effort to beat us. It was a close game against a really tough team. And we managed to, in the end, just get some points up and, and win a really tough match. Okay, 27 points for you. Really got cooking there. Uh, your teammate Renfro had 12, had assisted 12 of those points. How important is that chemistry? Well, I mean, we know each other for a while now. He's just uh, an amazing player, a guy that competes every day. Just glad that I have him by my side during this, this period. And let's see if we can bring it up every game and, and help the team to get more wins. Last question, how about the fans? Well, they're the best. I mean, I think everybody can see that now. We're going to enjoy a lot more with that by our side, and they're the best fans in Europe, for sure. Thank you. Well, there you go. He echoed my thoughts as well. I mean, I, I think you're hard-pressed to find better fans, <laughs> fans than Burgos. If your club has better fans, show it. Show us in the upcoming games. Alex, Here's Renfro. That must feel good. What made a difference at the end? Um, it does feel good, man. First off, it's good to be back, back in our home with a lot of people in here. Um, you know, at the, at the end, you know, we executed well. We executed our game plan. Um, we, had, we had been doing it sometimes, sometimes on, sometimes off during the game. But at the end, we really focused in and executed our game plan, defensively, offensively. And, uh, you know, we stuck together. We stuck together. Uh, you, Vitor hit some crazy shots. Let me add that in there. Make sure that's there. <laughs> he, he hit some crazy <laughs> shots, but you assisted 12 of those points, 12 of those 27. How do you go about getting him the looks that he needs? Um, you know, that's my job, man. Uh, you know, I try to come out here and do my job every day. He's going to do his job every day. And, uh, you know, coach is going to put us in the right situations to make it happen. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that that's the case. You know, I'm happy he had a great game. You know, we really needed him too. And uh, he came through in the clutch for us. Okay, and last point about being back in back home in front of these fans and what and what it's like to play in front of them. Hey, man, this, this, this, is, uh, this is amazing, man. The atmosphere is crazy. Uh, you know, our fans do a great job, man. They support us whether we're up or whether we're down. Um, I hated that they missed last season being in here, man. I really hate that. Uh, just as a whole, I hated that we didn't get to do that together. But, um, you know, we're here. We're here right now. We're going to enjoy it. We're going to seize the day. And, uh, you know, they did a great job. So we're, we're happy they're here. Thank you. There you go, Carpe Diem. You wonder what type of... Uh, Incentive you need to go out and win. Well, they want to win it for the fans who couldn't watch them last year during COVID. So again, you know, you think about Hollis Jefferson, you think about Bone, what they were talking about, and really, it's true. You know, Pajiktas did pretty much everything they wanted to do, they needed to do to come out and win that game. They were even in good defensive positions. And it all boiled down to uh, being able to to stop to stop Vitor Benite. And I honestly don't know who could have stopped Vitor Benite today. He was, quite frankly, folks, unstoppable. <laughs> he, even his teammate said uh, Vitor hit some crazy shots tonight. And uh, so the, the big question now is, can Vitor Benite hit more crazy shots? Uh, I think he's going to need the support of everybody. They need to they come they need to come and meet him at his level. And I'm guessing that with Burgos uh, to be the team that we remember them being last year and the year before that and that John Tabak wants them to be, they must be a great defensive team. And uh, perhaps we're gonna see them become a little more disruptive uh, in the games uh, coming up. Uh, as it is, uh, everybody can breathe a sigh of relief that that man right there 
if you're a Burgos fan anyway, uh, wears uh, your jersey. Uh, but let's let's don't lose sight of the fact that Besiktas put on a show tonight. They were that is one of the best Besiktas performances, in all honesty, and the most exciting performances that I've seen in all of the years of the Basketball Champions League. In their first four years, I'm not sure they put on quite a show like they did tonight. And I think that you can see from from uh, the looks on the faces of their players after that game that they believe. Uh, they could have won that game. They should have won that game. One thing you can never legislate for in the game of basketball is a player that becomes unconscious the way uh, the Vitor Benite did tonight, especially in the fourth quarter. So that is how it finishes. So Arreda San Pablo Burgos get off on the winning note, 82-74 to over Besiktas here in the Basketball Champions League, folks, in Group H. Thanks for watching.